In the spring of 1923, Jewish-Italian mathematician Eugenio Calabi was born here in Milan. Famously, his name lives on in string theory, where the eponymously named Calabi-Yau manifolds appear as extra dimensions of space. But those don't just belong to Calabi, as the name implies. Yau proved the critical piece of what was called the Calabi conjecture. Let's talk about it. At its heart, the Calabi conjecture is about a problem in geometry. There are certain kinds of geometric spaces called Kähler manifolds, which you can sort of think of as multidimensional surfaces, like 2D, 4D, 6D, etc. When you zoom in enough on these surfaces, they look like the complex plane. You know, the place where points take the form A plus BI, where I is the imaginary unit. I may have lost some of you already, but I promise that that part isn't so important for explaining this problem. Now, on these multidimensional surfaces, we can measure distances, but we want to do so in a way that respects both how the surface might be curved and how the surface looks like the complex plane. Such a way of measuring distances is called a Kähler metric. And among other things, the Kähler metric tells you about multidimensional volumes. Think like how thick or thin the multidimensional surface is at a given place. So the Calabi conjecture is about specifying those volumes. The question is, if I'm handed a Kähler metric, can I modify it in a particular simple way so that I can get any thickness I want? Equivalently, can I modify the metric to make the surface curved in any way I want? The answer is yes, so long as the volume or curvature takes on certain forms. Then there is only one way to make that modification. Yao proved that you can do it, and Calabi proved that there's only one way to do it. And as a special case, when a certain topological constraint is met for the surfaces, where the first churn class vanishes, or equivalently when there exists a global non-vanishing holomorphic top form, one can in fact always modify the Kähler metric so that it has no curvature. When this happens, you have a Calabi-Yau manifold, which, in string theory, is the shape of the curled-up extra dimensions. Thanks, Eugenio.